Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome. Yes, we're going to be starting our Junior Ranger Cup program here in just a moment. Uh, I just wanted to jump on here real quick and say good morning to all my Junior Ranger Cubs out there. Um, please go ahead and give me a raised hand if you can hear me. I know some of you know how to work that raised hand down there. Great. I'm so glad that we have that working for us today. Now, today, you are all joining me at my house. Yeah, just like you. I'm at home too. I am self-isolating because I have some people that I really care about that I have to stay well for. And so I'm at home myself and I'm not at my parks today. But what I'm going to do with you today is I'm going to share with you a little story that I have from my friends over in the national parks. I need to go find the book though. So while I'm looking for the book, I want you to do something for me. Can you all make sure that you have a friend who's joining you here on the call today. That friend can either be a physical friend, your imaginary friend, or a plushy friend. I'll bring mine on here in just a minute too. And also go ahead and grab some snacks. Snacks are always good to have when we're doing stories like this. So I'm gonna give you about 20 seconds to go grab some of your friends to go grab a snack. I'm gonna go grab our book today and then we're gonna get started. Are we ready? Okay, set, oh, don't go yet. Okay, go. Go get your snacks. Go get your buddy. I'm going to go grab our book, all right? All right, do we all have our snacks? Do we all grab a friend? Either a physical friend, your imaginary friend, or a plushy friend? I grabbed my plushy friend and let me introduce you to him, okay? This is my plushy friend and he's gonna sit with us through the story today. And I know he looks kind of funny, but he's a very special animal. And this animal is called a jackalope. Now jackalopes, they live out in big open prairie areas and there's a lot of fun stories about them. They're a mythical creature. But mine, mine is named Jasper, and he is Jasper the Jackalope. So make sure that you have your plushie with you today too, because it's always fun to have a friend when we're listening to stories, right? I always love doing it too. So Jasper's joining us here. I'm gonna tuck him into my chair. What I'm gonna be reading to you today is a book called If I Were a Park Ranger. Now, this book, is written by Catherine Steyer. It's illustrated by Patrick Corgan, and it's also published by Albert Whitman and Company, Chicago, Illinois. Now, this book is actually about being a national park ranger. Now, you're probably looking at me and you're thinking, oh, you're with state parks. Yeah, but my, my cousins over in national parks, they also have a lot of cool things going on too. And this book can kind of tell us about what it's like being a park ranger with national parks, okay? So are we ready to get started? Go ahead and put all of your hands down. Put your hands down. Good, good job putting your hands down. Awesome, good, okay. Now, are we ready to get started? Put the hands up if you're ready to get started. Oh, look at that. We got all those hands up. Awesome. Good job, you guys. All right, let's get into our story today. So it's called If I Were a Park Ranger. Imagine serving as a park ranger for the U.S. National Parks. If I were a National Park Ranger, after going to college to study wildlife biology, conservation, or education, I'd work for the National Park Service. I'd wear a special uniform, a hat, and a badge. Can you guys see all those different rangers that are there? 
all those different young rangers? Do they look like you? Oh my gosh, they're all different. They all look like you guys. So, now, if I were a national park ranger, I'd be part of what historian William Stagner called America's best idea. I'd proudly continue the legacy begun by people who had a vision of preserving our country's most beautiful, historic, and unique areas, all right? So how does California State Park fit in with national parks? We have a lot of California State Parks that we work with the national park rangers. And originally, the first park ever established for California State Park was established in 1864. See, you can see it says on my patch, 1864, okay? What park was that? That was Yosemite. Yosemite was one of our first California State Parks. However, national parks came in later and they helped us to take it over and to manage it or to help make sure that all the animals and places that people could have could go visit. So our stories are very connected between California State Parks and national parks. Now there's a lot of great people in this picture that we can see. Do you see folks that look like you? We have Teddy Roosevelt. Wow, yeah. Those all look like different people who helped shape our national parks. Now, some people hang pictures of pretty scenery on their office walls. Your mom and dad might have that on their office wall. But if I were a national park ranger, I would spend my work days in a place that was beautiful all on its own. If I were a national park ranger, I might work in the mountains, in a cave, near a volcano, in the desert, or at the seashore. Just like all these folks, they all work at different places. Taking a moment, if you became a national park ranger or a California state park person, where do you think you would want to work? Well, how about you grab your buddy who's sitting next to you and you tell them where you'd want to work. Would you want to work in the desert? Would you want to work in the redwood trees? Maybe you'd want to work in the big open plains, maybe in the mountains. Hmm. It's kind of neat working for all these different jobs because we get to travel all around the place and we can work at a lot of different parks. Now, let's continue on with our story. I hope you told your friend where you would want to work if you work for national parks. Maybe I'd work on a battlefield near the homeland of an ancestor, an ancient people, or a famous national monument. There's a lot of cool places that you can work for national parks, but as well as with state parks. State parks, we have a lot of cool places. We have adobes that have been around in California since the 1700s. We have all different places around this beautiful state that you could go work. Now let's keep reading about being a ranger, being a park ranger. If I were a national park ranger, I would protect the land, the plants, the buildings, and the wild animals of my park. I'd protect animals in many ways. I'd make sure people didn't get too close to the animals or disturb their homes. I'd make sure people didn't feed them or leave garbage that might make the animals sick. Would you wanna work with animals? Yeah, I bet you would. Animals are so amazing in our California state parks. We have a lot of them that we protect as well, like tule elk, which are giant deer. We also protect the little animals like little beetles and bugs. It's really important that we all help to protect all of the different animals that we have in our California state parks, as well as our national parks. Let's keep going. If I were a park ranger, I'd protect spaces such as national parks and national seashores in California state parks. 
as living outdoor research laboratories. Did you ever think of the outdoors as a laboratory? Wow. If I were a national park ranger, I might work with scientists to study the areas, animals, plants, water, or soil, or I could help with the discovery of fossils in my park. Just like that. You could discover fossils, you could help protect them too. We have fossils here in California too. A lot of my friends who work all over the state, who you have met already, had different fossils that were in their parks. So you can do this too with California state parks. Let's keep going. Ooh. I'd help campers, hikers, sightseers, and other visitors to learn about and enjoy my park. Did you know that hundreds of millions of people visit national park service sites each year? We also have over a million people who visit our California state parks every year. Wow. I might greet guests at the visitor center or lead a ranger talk or a different type of education program. I'd meet people from all over the country and the world and traveled to see the treasures of the parks. Would you wanna do that? Would you want to help people to learn about their parks that are here in California? Go ahead and put your hands down. If you if get ready to answer this question, put your hands down for me. Awesome. Good job, everyone. Now, would you want to help people learn about their California state parks? Put your hands up if, you're gonna, if you want to help people. Yeah, we love helping people. We love helping folks learn about their California state parks. That's why this is so much fun. And people in national parks do the same thing. There's a lot of different opportunities out there. But let's go. I'd be a great storyteller. I learn about the natural history, the human history, and the legends of my park so I could share those tales. Thinking about that, there's a lot of tales that we tell in California state parks especially if you visit all the different ones. Indigenous people or people who lived here long before other settlers came in have these amazing stories. It's always fun to learn about those. Now, I tell a few spooky campfire stories too. Ooh, I love spooky campfire stories. Do you? You know what my favorite thing is? Put your hands down real quick. Let's all put our hands down. Good job, everyone. You're doing so good. I'm so proud of my cubs. Your cubs are doing amazing so far. Now, put your hands up if you love s'mores. Do you love s'mores? Those hands are going up really quick. That's something that's a lot of fun that you can do at your California state parks, especially if you work there. Let's keep going, huh? I'd know lots about the parks, landmarks, plants, and wildlife. I'd even recognize the calls, tracks, and scat of most animals in my park. How many of you joined us for the Bear Aware program from Calaveras? Yeah, lots of you did, right? So scat, scat, you're probably already knowing what that is, right? Okay, real quiet, real quiet, real quiet. Is scat poop? Yeah, scat's poop. It's just the, it's just the easier word for us, right? And that's why I would be able to answer all the questions. I might take people on a tour on foot, in a tram or in a kayak. Or maybe I'd lead a tour on snowshoes or by flashlight or even by candlelight. Lots of different knowledge and interests could come in handy. It does come in handy when you're here with parks. I might even dress up in old fashioned clothes and portray someone from another time. See, we've got people over here doing the tracks and scat. We've got someone down there doing the kayak tour. These folks are on snowshoes. And then we even got the bottom picture down there of somebody in historical clothing. Lots of our California state parks do that. You can do tracking all throughout Calaveras big trees 
when the snow comes to the Sierras, you can go up to the Sierra Nevadas and go snowshoeing with some of us. And we even do dress in funny clothes like my friend Jared from Sutter's Fort. Now, let's keep going because we've got a little bit left. If I were a national park ranger, I'd always be on the lookout for fires or threatening weather. If I spotted trouble, I'd use my two-way radio to report it to the emergency dispatch. Then the other rangers and I would use our training and experience to keep everyone and everything as safe as possible. In parks, we work as a large team. So there's a lot of us who have different skills and we all work together. but sometimes things still go wrong. Then I might be part of a search and rescue team that saves someone who is lost or in danger. If I were a park ranger, I'd probably spend time outside, maybe lots of time outside. I like to do that in all kinds of different weather. But park rangers work inside too. Some use computers to design exhibits, make maps, write articles, and keep track of endangered animal populations. Others update park websites with information and alerts about closed roads or other issues. You probably learned about our program by visiting some of our websites or even our Facebook page. So we all work on those things. If I were a national park ranger, I might leave my park to visit classrooms. I'd talk with students about the wonders of the workplace, of my workplace, because our national parks and state parks belong to them. Put your hands down for a second. Go ahead, put all your hands down. Oh, good job, yes, okay. Did you know that our California state parks belong to you? Did you know that? Put your hands up if you already knew that. Did you know that our California state parks belong to you? That's right, they all belong to you. They belong to everyone. Now. If I were a national park ranger, my park would be cleaner and safer because of me. The animals living there would be stronger and healthier too. See, there's our ranger talking about the wonders of their park. And there's our other ranger who's hiding behind the rocks, making sure that those foxes are doing okay. See those little foxes? Look at those guys. Oh. And maybe because of all I did, some visitors to my park would experience something astonishing. Wow, that's a big word, astonishing. What do you think astonishing means? Go ahead and tell your neighbor. Maybe your mom and dad are around or your aunt, uncles or your grandma and grandpas. What do you think astonishing means? Yeah, good. Good job guys, yeah, good job everyone. All right, astonishing means something that's really beautiful. And we'll see that picture in just a second. A moment that could happen nowhere else in the world. A moment that remember forever. Then, like me, they'd wanna take care of these special places too. Astonishing. Right? So yeah, I think someday I just might wanna be a national park ranger or work for California state parks. See all those different faces? 
all of you can come and be a part of our parks. That's right, everyone can, because all these parks belong to you. That's our story. Now, after sharing this with you, do you think you would wanna become a national park ranger? Maybe you would wanna come work for California State Parks and do what my friends and I do, where we help you all discover all the really cool things about our parks. So that's our story today. I hope I opened your minds to maybe looking at working as a park ranger for national parks or California State Parks and that you all know that you can become a part of this. Before I sign off though, I wanna make sure that you all remember that as soon as this webinar, this whole screen time is over, there's gonna be a survey that'll pop up. Now, if the survey doesn't pop up after this program, I will send out an email to your family to make sure that you do the survey and get your Junior Ranger badge. Now, my name's Peter Ostrowski. I hope you enjoyed our story today, and I hope you enjoyed coming to my house and checking out what we had here. Now, I'd like to say thank you all so much for joining us. I hope to see all of you doing all of your digital Junior Ranger badges. Don't forget, you can color those Junior Ranger badges as soon as you print them. I'd love to see your artwork and what you all come up with, okay? Now, from me and from my friend Jasper, you all take care and we'll see you around the park.